to Miss Universe India. A lot of you were commenting in the first episode and asking me to review her answer as well. And thank you so much to all of you who sent links um, to the video. And I'm so glad that the question and answer portion she answered in English actually. Uh, so it will make my job easier today. <laughs> She was a proud farmer, but she lost her life giving birth to my mother at the age of 22. At the same age as I am standing in front of you because she could not afford health care. I stand on the stage today to represent her and all the farmers of our country who work hard for our sustenance but do cannot afford sustenance. Tonight, when you have your meal, remember that farmer who worked hard so that you could have your daily bread. I'm very grateful for this platform because it helped me reach a lot of people and highlight the fact that we need to give sustainable livelihoods to our farmers and we need to support them because the future of this country lies in their hands. So if I win tonight, I want to use the resources to work on a national level so I can reach this idea to many more people because I believe we can truly change the fate of India one farmer at a time. Thank you. Okay, that was a very powerful story. I wasn't expecting that one. Like, from her hardships to the death of her mother at that age, at the same age that she joined Miss Universe. So, it's really like a very strong testimony, and you can just see the reactions of the judges as well as the co-candidates surrounding her, they were also very moved by her story. And I love how she uses her own story to turn it into her advocacy. And you can see that she's really thinking ahead because she was already establishing herself. Like, if she wins this pageant tonight, she wants to work on her advocacy on a national level. And it's so hard not to crown a girl who has a plan. And I love how she already has a roadmap for her crown, like how she will use her crown to really expand on her advocacy. So let's see how she fares this time in their question and answer portion. But she is off to a good start, definitely. Does religion unite or divide people? Kya dharam logo mein ekta jagata hai? Ya madved peda karta hai? Religion definitely unites people. It has values that bring people together. People believing in the same things come together and stay in harmony. Me coming from Kuwait, when I first came to India, I really loved the fact that all religions stay together in harmony. We celebrate Diwali, Christmas, Eid all together. And what a beautiful scene that is. That we can stay together, respect each other's belief, and be in harmony and progress with each other forward to the future. Thank you. Okay, so this girl has a lot of personal stories packed with her that she always incorporates in her answers and that's something I really appreciate. And this is a good tactic actually for you guys who are asking for tips on how to answer questions and answer portions. Um, this is a really good strategy because something as divisive like Let's be honest, religion can be divisive. It can be used in a bad way, it, especially when it's used in politics. So you can speak for yourself, like your own experience with religion, and that's what she did. At least it's a touching story. And she painted this picture of how everyone in their family can just live in harmony, live together. It doesn't always have to be um, a source of bickering. So. Yeah, so I think it's a very simple answer, but it was meaningful nonetheless.